So today, something a little bit different for you lot. And instead of getting to go fishing, the weather is a little bit naff. So what we've done, we've come to our bait kitchen at the Sonia Bakes factory. And what we've decided to do, we're gonna film lots and lots of little videos, pretty much explaining my findings and my understandings and also what I've been taught about the Sonia Bakes range. Do you mean it's a massive, massive amount of products to go through and I'd be, well, I'd be telling fibs if I was to try and talk about each one. So instead, what we thought we'd do is do little videos throughout the next few months where we can release them, sort of applicable with the time of year, but showing my findings and my choices throughout the, the massive range that we've got and just explain why I'm using certain products. I mean, it can be a massive minefield that there's so many different things out there. So what I want to do is try and keep things nice and simple for you and show you why I choose things, a little few tips in the way that I do things and say just a nice little introduction to many, many new and wonderful products that Sonia Bates already do. So yeah, hopefully you enjoy them. Without further ado, let's start the first one. So first up on the, the tippy sort of list or the my explanation of bait that I've been using has to be Super, Super Crush Expander. I mean, it was, I'm not going to say it's the first bait that I've used from Sonia Bates, but it's the bait that without doubt, because I've been with them since, when was it? It was getting autumn time. So it's very much the winter period that I've been using baits. And Crush Pellet's been around forever. I mean, it's what we've used many, many occasions for fishing for F1s and whatnot all throughout the country for a long, long time. But Crushed Expander, definitely this year, it's been, it's been the only ground which I've been using. It's been all about silverfish fishing most of the time when I've been using it. In fact, yeah, I've done very little F1 fishing with ground bait. So it's been silverfish, it's been skimmers, some bream, but using it as a ground bait. But what became very, very interesting in something we covered on a Winning Ways video is the way that you can use Crushed Expander to attract fish into your peg. I mean, it's not a ground bait that can be used just to, to lay a bed on the bottom. So it's a lovely versatile one in that the way that it mixes, because it is so fluffy, so light sort of thing, it doesn't bind anywhere near as well as other ground baits do, but for a specific reason. This is a ground bait I can use to, to put bait through the water constantly in small amounts in either loose or very light squows and balls. And you can actually use it as an attractor which was massive for lots of the skimmer fishing that we were doing at various venues up and down. So using Crushed Expander to actually feed every cast, but it never accumulates anything on the bottom if you feed it nice and light, nice and, do you mean, lovely, fluffy, dry mix. And I can use it in that way to bring fish into my peg, as well as being able to use it, not so much as a create a, a carpet on the bottom, but I can feed it in stodgier, stickier, over-wetted sort of balls, that I can get it to the bottom if I want to fish for F1s or whatever else in sensible depths. I mean, probably up to about six foot. It became the ground bait for me to feed on all these um, commercial bait silverfish competitions where these venues that we go to now, all they ever see is pellets. So for me, definitely at commercial silverfish fishing, I, I can't see the point in natural, you know I mean, sweet sort of ground baits. I want to go down the fish meal, the pellet route, because it is ultimately what they eat, whether it's roach, skimmers, who knows what. They all eat this sort of stuff. It's what they see non-stop throughout the year. So for me, it has been the ground bait. So it's super cushion expander for all my silver fish fishing. I definitely feel it's given me the edge because I can feed it in different ways, but also because it attracts the fish that want to eat pellets, which are the, they're the game changers. They're what win your matches. So for me, without doubt, my number one, it's been my winter, autumn, and coming into spring, first choice when it comes to ground bait. So well worth a little look at that one. 